trouble for Shiwaju Ahmed Bola Tinubu as a an INEC official say make the not lie to us. So say because he fear God, he won't talk through. He said the twenty five percent where they talk about for uh, where they talk about sin. So say the person must get twenty five percent. He said they mandate you. He said INEC they won't change the rule because of waiting. They don't promise some of them. We say all of them know the truth. So say make him not lie. He know exactly what they talk about. Say they say see. It's all of them know exactly what they talk about. So everybody know the truth. So say the twenty, you know, you know, you say the twenty five percent. Okay. You say you say they you say they mandatory. You say those who they won't tell us say you know they mandatory. They they want one for their own personal. You say not for you say not for personal for personal uh self because of what they go gain from the Tinobos administration. What they don't promise them. You say if not. Any INEC official no say twenty five percent they mandatory. Now we say they compulsory. Is anybody tell say no they compulsory? The person they lie. So the person no say they lie. You get me now. Now so the T they reach us. So please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like us, share, subscribe. Let's understand what our brother is saying. Trending hmm. twenty five percent votes in FCT is mandatory. Ex INEC. You know, resident electoral commissioner tells Nigerians that Yakub knows the truth. He's only trying to cover up. We all know the right thing and what the law says. Every one of us are aware of the right things. So, my lovely, wonderful people, now the matter, Doris Grant. So, okay, let's get all the details. A former INEC officer, resident electoral commissioner, has come out telling Nigerians. That this is what the truth is. Yakub is aware. He's only trying to manipulate things for the presidential candidate he's personally supporting. A former resident electoral commissioner, ROEC for the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC in Akwa Ibom, Mike Egeni, in a new viral video, was quoted saying, Nigerian constitution mandated a candidate to score. 25% of the Federal Capital Territory, FCT, before being declared winner of the presidential polls. He says, Yakub knows he is only trying to twist things for the presidential candidate he is supporting. Recall that many Nigerians had interpreted the relevant section of the constitution which has portrayed different meaning that the presidential candidate must win 25 percent of fct this follows INEC declaration of bola ahmed Tinubu of the all progressive congress candidate winner of the february 25th polls despite failing to secure 25 percent votes in the fct but in a viral clip obtained by tribune online the former INEC rep, during an interview with Arise TV a few hours ago, said the February 25th presidential polls said it is presidential polls is a clear indication that INEC official that INEC chairman Yakub is supporting a presidential candidate. He knows it is compulsory for a candidate to score 25 percent in FCT before being declared as president-elect. All INEC officials are aware. The provision of Section 134, subsection 2B of the Nigerian Constitution states, no presidential candidate can be declared a winner in this election without 25% of the Federal Capital Territory, FCT. That is very important for the world to know. However, election results may be fully declared. Apart from having 25% in 24 states of the Federation, the FCT is like a compulsory question. Without 25%, you cannot be declared. Yakub is very much aware of this. All INEC officials are aware. He is only portraying to Nigerians the candidate of his choice. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Just wow. So this is what is happening. Okay, this is what is going on right now. And every single one of us can see that until we begin to tell ourselves the truth, we may not be able to quickly, you know, come out of the current predicaments that we are faced with. We all know the truth, don't we? We do. We do. 
Don't lie to us. We know. We know exactly what is happening, but we have decided to pretend, okay, that we are not aware. Meanwhile, we know. Yeah, we know. You know, I know, we know. We know. Let's not deceive. Let's call it spade a spade. Let's call it his name. A spade is a spade. It may look like a shovel, but it's not a shovel. It's not. Let's call it spade a spade. You understand me now? So they know exactly what they are doing. Let's not, let's not deceive. See, you can deceive anybody, but don't deceive yourself. That's the worst sort kind of deceit you can ever pull out. How can you, I mean, you're deceiving people, you're getting away with it. How can you now also do it to your very own self? Does it make sense? You know, let's be real now. Between you and I, does it make sense? Let's be real. It doesn't. It doesn't. So these are some of the things that are going on. These are some of the things that are happening. And, uh, you know, we cannot, we cannot stop the, the, the honest position and the truth that, you know, Nigerians, we all know exactly what we are doing. And if anything is going to change, you know, it's up to us to really arise and ensure that we do not allow the same thing over and over again to keep us down. Okay, whatever is needed to change the course of this nation is within our reach and within our grips. And we all we all deserve it. We all deserve it. We all deserve a nation that truth will be manifested and we all can truly sincerely, you know, make a headway and make a change and bring this country to where it ought to be. If, if, you know, if this thing, if things continue just the way they are, you'll be shocked and surprised. So it is what it is. Nigerians, we are all aware. We all know what's going on and um, we cannot afford to pretend to one another. Even if we want to lie to people, we can't lie to ourselves, you know, on some. Of so my wonderful people, this is part of what is going on and why, you know, again and again, the position of honest sincere sincerity cannot be undermined yeah it cannot be undermined we must all rise up and ensure that you know we 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 we, we know exactly who we are what we are standing for and we do not allow certain selfish individual to take over that which belongs to us if nigeria we move forward oh dear is in your hands somebody say is in my hands is in what our hands and so it is time to advance and truly ensure that we do not leave things to chance yes it is what it is it is what it is please don't forget to give us a thumbs up like us share subscribe click on the notification button so you can have all our latest news remember you have a voice god bless have a fantastic and a lovely day from us is bye for now